That's the spirit coming out of the finger. Land of deliverance and holiness. My name is Bolan Abukola. I live at Ujuri Akobo. So I'm here to testify for the glory of God because four years in pain is not that easy. Um, I'll start like this like 2018, yes, 2018. I do things like two hours in a year. Sure. So January 31st, 2019, I was in a concert. So, because I ran to Kiagbara, she was tired. So, I ran to two. Okay. That was January 31st, 2019. So, I feel somehow, if I want to, like, different, actually, like, I'll be feeling it. My body will change, all my system, like, I'll feel somehow. So, that 31st of January, so like I was rushed to use it. After then, my cousin actually called my dad like, ah, I don't do this now. See how faith in God. And I said, okay. And I said, okay, no problem. So there was one woman around Ashi, around Aliami Hospital. So the woman had all those less stuff. So my cousin was like, so because my cousin is always going there, deliver if she wants to give birth. So when I get there, don't like. Even the woman was telling my dad, like, she's dead, so why not bring in her here? So my cousin was like, she was pleading us, just save her. She's the only one, as in, I'm the only girl in my family. So after that, the woman actually called me, so she bring out one white cloth and cover me. So when she covered me, like, she like, because that thing's like five, before I wake up, like, five days or six days. So... Everybody like, well, it's cool, it's cool, no, no, no. so I'm going to continue life. But my cousin was just like, no, know, like she stayed there for me, everything I need, she's the one there for me. Stepmom was with me then. So after that, okay, start, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. So I wake up around two, Thursday, yes, around two o'clock. So after that, then June 27, it's a... Uh, it happened to me then, there June 27. After that, June 27, 2020, that was around May 25, my birthday. So I was like, my friend actually took my book, let us go out, can you come? So that thing happened to me around A3 Hotel, around the Express. So I didn't have no choice. They actually called my dad, like, she have started again, all this stuff. I went there, like, my dad was like, ah, I can't come and disturb myself on what is not necessary. They actually called my mom. My mom was like, okay, no problem. So after that, 2020, me, me. So my mom was like, okay, she know one of this a man. So they took me there, they're like, eh, I'm a free, I'm a ride, I'm a father, all this stuff. Like, because I can't talk, but even I couldn't hear, but they use hand to describe. For me. So, to God be the glory. So, last week, Sunday, that thing happened to me. I was trying to excuse myself from the church, but before I get out, I couldn't hold myself. I actually collapsed. Before three days, four days, five days, but that last week, it was, let me say, like, it's not up to 15 minutes before I stood back. So, I have to give God the glory. Thank you. So, let's put our hands together for Jesus, people of God. She has been passing through this. So, Ma, um, before we go back to the story, I just want to ask you, when this particular incident started, what is the change that, I mean, after you woke up, five days after, what is the change that you noticed in your life, generally? Like, I would just, around five days or four days, if I wake up, I'll be weak, I won't be able to do anything. So, they will have, if I want to 
do anything. They will have to carry me, all those stuff. But after some days, few days, I will stop by. Like okay, ma. So during that period when you were out for those five days, what do you remember from that period? Were you having some type of dreams or visions? Where were you mm. that time? What type of place, ma? Sometimes it may be inside the rivers and like ocean. Okay. Sometimes like maybe I'll be caged. So five person by my right side and five person by my left side. So they'll be dragging me like no she would die. Like the that January thirty first, two thousand and eighteen, like they actually told me the time like by two. I won't, as in I won't be no more. Okay. So and then that like that is on the fourth day. So I actually wake up and tell, and told my sister like Auntie she would, they said by two, like I won't be no much like I go for beat. That no 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 like that means by two o'clock yes. you were going to die. Yes. Okay. When you were in that state of coma, you somebody told you in that vision yeah. or dream that you yes. had that when that when it was two o'clock, yes, you were going to die. Yes, so you woke up and you told the person that was with you that yes. they said by when it was two, two o'clock you were going yes. to die and then you fainted back. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Alive. So that happened, man. And um, the question I was now asking is, what change did you notice in your life, in your relationships with people, in your business? What change did you notice in your life after that first incident? Mm, like the first notice I not like. Everything is so hard for me. So hard. Because I'm the type of girl, like, I'm a well known person. But if I call her, like, who is Bukola? They don't know me. I will, I will have to describe myself. But until those are, they don't even know Bukola, they're like, it is so tight so, and hard. Sorry, for ma, me. you're saying after that thing happened, your friends, your normal friends, anytime you call them, they always say they don't know you, that you have to ex. Play describe myself. yourself yes. to the people who are your friends okay so and then the second one the second time like everything was so difficult for me because i noticed like before getting faint like i started a dream so the dream like i would meet myself that was 2018 i had a dream like i was engaged with my spiritual husband so since then everything will be so tight for me so and um it has been going on like that up until you came across this ministry can you even tell us how you got to know about this ministry through my boss so when i explained some things to her she's like if i can follow her to our church so and i said no problem so i followed that that was last two weeks so when you were in church that same thing happened to you. So you fainted while you were in church? Yes. Okay. So when, what happened after you fainted? I can't remember. I can't recollect again, so. Okay. So normally when you faint like that, it takes you days. But that particular day when you fainted in church, after like 15 minutes, you came back. Yes. Because you were in the house of God in church. And that was when the man of God ministered to you. Yeah. So can you tell us what changes you, you've noticed in your life since that day when the man of God ministered to you? Before I know I used to sleep, as in, it is so hard for me to sleep. Before I sleep, I have to put my hand inside the water, as in, so terrible, but now I can sleep. Okay, sorry, ma'am. You said before you sleep, you would have to put your hands and your legs inside water. Yes. Can you describe how it works? So well, do you sleep on a chair or no. on the floor? How do you do it where your hands and if, your legs are inside water? I will like, I will have to sit on a chair. Okay. Put my hand and leg. But if I, if I don't feel like putting water, maybe on the floor or ties. Okay, so, so you're saying I if you know. don't sit down, put your legs inside water, your hands inside water, you won't be able to sleep. Yes. Either that or you sleep on the bare floor. Yes. All right, and that's been going on for how many years? Four years. For four years. You haven't been able to sleep normally for four years. Yes. But after the man of God ministered to you last week, what, do you still need to put your hand inside no. water before you sleep now? No, so I, you've been I able to sleep, sleep properly on a bed. People of God, let's put our hands together for Jesus.
right. So, now, what other changes have you noticed in your life after that day? I've been seeing things different. Like, I'm perfectly okay. I know used to add a lot of dreams. Like, I'll miss myself inside the water. I know okay. used to have. So, like, you don't have any dreams, dreams of you seeing yourself inside the water again yeah. since the man of God ministered to you? Yes. Wow, we celebrate with you, man. So, how much did you pay? Because in the past, I'm sure where your sister took you to all those times, all the Abadis place you went to, it wasn't free. You had to pay something. But when, when you came to this place last week, and the man of God ministered to you, and you've been delivered now, because according to you, you can now sleep properly, and you've been seeing changes in your life. So how much did you pay for the man of God to minister to you last week, man? I did not pay anything. All right, man. We celebrate with you. We pray your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. So I just say thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. If you have been blessed by this video, like, follow, and share.